Hello everyone, welcome to week 7 of industrial media class. Um, I chose iMovie for the video editing software. Um, I'm more familiar with iMovie. I've edited all my videos um, that I have on my YouTube channel um, with iMovie all of these ones here, and then this other channel here too. Um, I find iMovie more user-friendly. It also comes with any iOS device. Um, one thing I do hate about this is that it takes up a lot of space on your computer. Same thing with uh, GarageBand. Um, I had to re-download it and uh, get the app back because it just took up way too much space and I mean some of the space to uh, for my assignments but anyways um, once you open the app you can choose uh, you could create a new project you could choose a trailer um, or you could choose a movie the movie um, you have more editing access to stuff on here the trailer you're kinda a little bit more limited so we'll just start with a movie and we'll just import um, one, whoops, one that I've already created. So we'll just import it that way. And then you drag this here. And it shows the total minutes of the video. I believe you can hear uh, most of it. Jordan. And then you can also add different sound effects to this if you want, like in the background, I guess, or like whenever you do create an intro, um, you can add intros here. You can preview them like, like that, and you just add them like to the front, exactly like that. And then you just type in your text here. You know, just type in my name. And then it'll play, and then it'll go start with the video. And then you can also add one, I believe, yeah, they have scrolling credits. You can add one like that. Um, they also have different ones. This one's kind of cool. Um, do the Star Wars themed. But I find that one hard to read. Uh, but yeah, and then you can also delete clips you can make your video shorter by doing this and that shortens it starts see it started with I use TikTok to like send see it started whenever uh, with my name saying my name but there by shortening it just make it a little bit longer and one thing that's cool is that whenever you do make it go back to the beginning of the video, your trackpad on your computer, it like vibrates. I find that to be interesting. But yeah, it's pretty simple stuff. You can also um, add music from your uh, iTunes account. You can also add your own sound effects from GarageBand, which is pretty cool. Um, a lot of people do that. Um, but I don't think that this iMovie is... I'm not sure how you add like extra components, like, like say you want to add an emoji or something. I'm not sure how you do that. Um, before I started this video, I watched a video on... Uh, movie to iMovie tutorial. Uh, this one's kind of good, um, but it was just the basic stuff that he was showing, like how to edit the bits and parts, add effects, like what I was doing. Um, but it's pretty user friendly. Um, one thing I did like about it though is that it does come with your iMac. Um, but if you want probably more advanced stuff, you probably want to go with a uh, Adobe Publisher, I believe it was. Yeah, Adobe Publisher. But 
so far this was the only option that I found that's interesting and better uh, but yeah that's iMovie um, remember wear your face mask at all times you go outside and stay safe bye